Welcome to Informatica Cloud Videos. Today, in this video, we'll be looking at how to use WS Consumer Transformation for SOAP services in Informatica Cloud Designer. So let's have a look at what are the aspects of WS Consumer Transformation for SOAP-based web services. The WS Consumer Transformation uses open standards like SOAP, Vistel, XST. In Informatica Cloud Designer, you need to use three steps in order to use this transformation. You need to create a WS Consumer Connection and then create a business service definition using the Consumer Connection and then you need to drag and drop WS Consumer Transformation in Mapping Designer and choose the business service which has been configured. The WS Consumer Transformation supports transaction control and pass-through port. The following are the licenses required to use WS Consumer Transformation. WS Consumer Connector, Business Service Definition, UDT for Hierarchy, Data Transformation, and SAS X Metadata Read Packages. Before we proceed further, let's look at a demo. Go to a browser and try to browse in the Informatica Cloud URL and log in using your credential. Navigate to Configure and Connections to create a new connection. Click on the button New. And if you already have the license for the WS Consumer, in the type, you show WS Consumer being one of the connector being listed here. Select the connector, WS Consumer. Select the appropriate connection name. In this case, I'm going to use Demo WS Consumer. Select the appropriate runtime and authentication type. For the use case that we are going to use in this example, it is other authentication. I'm going to type in the visual URL. The visual URL is a, that of a weather forecast where the service is going to fetch me the weather for a given country. You can type in the HTTP username password if applicable. Go ahead and click OK to save the connection. Now let's go ahead and try to create a business service. Click on Configure Business Service and hit on New button. Type an appropriate name. Choose the connection which you had already configured. Based on the connection, the operations would be defined. Select the operation and click on the Select button. This would parse the operation out of the Vistel, which you configured in the connection. And it is fetching two operations. We need to use get cities by country operation in this case. Select the appropriate operation and click OK. You can bundle in more than one operation in a given business service together. Let's look at what are the aspects of a given operation by clicking on the configure hyperlink. For a given operation, this lists all the elements or structure for a request and the response. You would find the hierarchy and the elements involved here. Other than that, you'll also find a default fault element or hierarchy being added. Click OK and click OK to save the business service. Now that you have created connection in the business service, let's go ahead and try creating a mapping. Navigate to Design Mapping and click on New Mappings button. Choose appropriate name. Click OK. Drag and drop a source transformation. Type in a name for the source transformation. In this case, we'll be using flat file as a source from which I'm going to pull in the data which would be fed to the WS Consumer Transformation as input. Let's select the connection and the object for this connection. The object name is going to be hierarchy root. Click OK. Now let's drag and drop an expression transformation and link the output of the source transformation to the input of the expression transformation. Give appropriate business name for this expression transformation. 
it is exp country name since I am going to create an expression field output field called as country and provide a default value here which would be taken as an input for the WS consumer transformation. Now drag and drop the web service transformation over here pull the output of the expression to the input of the web service consumer transformation give a name for this web service transformation select the appropriate business service which you had configured and the operation from the business service which you would like to use click on the request mapping to see what is the input request element coming in and map the appropriate element to the input element of the WS consumer. In this case I am mapping the country field which is going to be the input. Now let's drag and drop a target transformation. Give a name we are going to use flat file as a target here. Choose a connection for the flat file and choose appropriate object. If object is not available, you can create an object at runtime. But you need to provide a file name which would be created during the runtime of the task. Be weather output country. Now let's go to the field mapping. We don't see any field from the input. We need to map the output of the WS consumer to the input of the target transformation. When we map, the available groups from the WS consumer are listed here. We have only one fault group, which means we have not selected the required output fields from the response mapping. Go back to WS consumer, click on response mapping, expand the response elements and groups. Select the data element. In this case, it's going to be get cities by country response and all the immediate child elements of it. You can select all the descendants from here for the given element or all the immediate no, children's. Once you select, these fields appear onto the output fields. Now if you drag the output of the WS consumer, you would be see the envelope element. Choose the envelope element, click OK to map it to the target. Now in the target field mapping, you would be able to see the required output elements. Try to validate the mapping and do a save and run. You need to choose a runtime environment to run the mapping. Eventually, if you are to plan to use this and schedule this mapping, then you might need to configure a mapping configuration task for the same and schedule it appropriately. The mapping has run successfully fetching data over here. Thus, we do come to the end of the walkthrough for how to use the WS Consumer Transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. We would like to hear from you. You can post your feedback at supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com info support.